people, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Candy, and today we're talking what's new and what's next winter wardrobe basics. So if you've been a subscriber to this channel, you already know your girl picked up and left Florida and moved to Chicago in the middle of winter. What does that mean? I had to build a brand new winter wardrobe from nothing. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a recent haul. I picked up some amazing wardrobe basics from Eloquy. And I'm also going to give you guys an extra bonus in this video. I'm sharing with you the checklist that I used to ensure that I had everything I needed in my closet to build the perfect winter wardrobe. So as always, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box below. And if you're like me and you love knowing what's new and what's next, fashion, beauty, and travel, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. Become a part of my crew. I would love to have you. Enough talking, let's get into the fashion. So the first piece that I'm sharing with you guys today is actually this really cute polka dot sweater. It is so classic. It has a balloon sleeve, which I absolutely love because it just gives you a little bit more room in the arms. I love the fact that they did this three-dimensional polka dot. These are actual darn dots that are just sewn on. It's a winter white v-neck sweater. So you can definitely layer this with a turtleneck underneath if you needed to add a little bit more warmth. But it's also very, very comfortable. Like this is one of those sweaters that you could definitely dress up or down. This is something you would pair really nicely with a pair of jeans or you could cute this up for work with a really nice skirt or like I'm wearing it today with just a simple pair of black pants. I love this sweater guys and I've gotten so many compliments on it. Now, I forgot to look up the prices for everything. So <laughs> I will try my hardest to put the prices on the screen or drop them down in the description box for you guys. And also, as always, the sizing will also be down in the description box. In building a winter wardrobe basic kit, for me, I wanted to focus more on neutral colors. So a lot of the pieces that I'm showing you today are gonna be black, white, beige, um, very neutral in tone not necessarily neutral in pattern, which I think is one of the keys to maximizing your wardrobe. It's not bad that everything is black and white, but you can also have some fun. And I think this sweater is a definite play on that because it is simple colors, but because of the polka dots, it's very interesting. It's something that you could layer. You could obviously rock this with a red pair of pants or a red skirt, and this is gonna be really hot. I love this with my red leather jacket, which is also from Eloquy. Like I love pairing that with this classic black and white. Moving on to the next piece that I wanna share with you guys is a basic white pelplum top. Now, what drew my attention to this particular top is the fact that it has this little crisscross detail that they put in the front. So it has like a little corset tie um, it's not removable, it's attached, and you can double this around your waist. So if you need a little bit more room in the belly, that's great, but if you don't, you can definitely tie it twice around the waist, and it fits really well. I love the fact that they did a cap sleeve on this. Again, just to give you a little bit more room uh, in the arm, and what I also love about shirts like this is though, it is not long sleeve, and I know this is a winter wardrobe. This is a perfect type of top to layer under a jacket. Something that's not gonna make you too hot, but you'll also be able to transition this to pretty much any season. Next up is this amazing mixed print blouse. Now, this is where I would say we start to have a little fun with wardrobe basics. Because something like this, again, you can wear with pretty much anything, but because of the fact that they chose to do this in a mixed print, it just makes it fun. It makes it a little bit more interesting. Now this is a size 16. I love that they included the little closure piece to help make sure that you're not showing too much cleavage, which is great. That way you don't have to pair it with a camisole if you don't want to. It is a true wrap. So now this one is not as generous with the wrap, so it's a single uh, wrap tie close. But it, I love rocking this top with a simple pair of black leggings on the weekend, and it's just really cute. I think this is like the perfect top to go even for date night. 
absolutely love it it feels really good one thing i want to point out is this definitely it is a non-stretch fabric however it runs very true to size uh when i initially picked it up i grabbed an 18 assuming that because it was non-stretch it may fit tight and i had to size down to my true size which is a 16 and i find that it's perfect Next up is this gray sweater. Now, this is one of the pieces that I picked up and I wasn't really sure if I was going to get that much wear out of it because I'm not typically a gray person, but I have to tell you guys, I cannot stop wearing this sweater. First of all, I absolutely love these bell sleeves. Do you see this? It's like a little bell bottom at the end of the sleeve. And that on is just, it gives it such a dramatic flair, but because it's this really classic gray color it's so it's perfect for pretty much anything this has become a staple in my work wardrobe just because it's very simple but because of that detail on the arm it's very classic and at the same time it dresses it up a little bit this one falls right at the waist which again is really nice it's just so soft it feels really good on um, now i did pick this sweater up in a size 1820 and it was also available in black if I'm not mistaken um, and I regret the fact that I did not pick it up in the black because I absolutely love this sweater it's also not too thick which is great because it's a good layering piece it's thin enough that it'll keep you warm but at the same time not too much where you'll be sweating midday Alrighty, next up I know you guys are like wait does she only buy sweaters no but I just figure we'll start with the stop the blah, blah, blah. I figure we'll start with the sweaters and kind of work our way through the haul. Next up is this amazing, oh my gosh guys, like amazing wrap sweater. Okay, so now if you're looking for the perfect sweater, this is it. This is a true wrap, so it has a wrap tie, um, crisscross in the front sweater. Now I picked this up in a size 1820. It has again a little bit more of a wide sleeve, not as dramatic as the gray that I just showed you guys, but this is definitely a wider sleeve sweater. It feels so good on, it's so comfy. And what I love the most about this particular sweater is the fact that this layers so well. So this is something you can definitely put over more of a casual, maybe a t-shirt or a turtleneck, or you could even dress this up and throw it on top of maybe your favorite uh, bodycon dress. I love this sweater. I feel like there's just so many different ways to wear it. And it's so well made. It has this beautiful thick cable knit all the way through it hits right at the hips which i think again just makes it look so nice i absolutely love this sweater it's a high recommendation on this one and i don't remember if it came in other colors but if it does i would definitely recommend picking this up in every color that you can get because it is one of those sweaters that you can wear with anything it's classic it's never going to go out of style and you can use it to layer even as we start to head into like february march where the weather's starting to shift this is going to be a perfect transitional piece if you've been following me on Instagram, I told you like I am so in love with sweaters right now. And it's partially because of this haul. Eloquy just rolled out some amazing sweaters this year. This oatmeal sweater is so gorgeous in person, guys. Like I'm not sure if it will show up on camera just how beautiful this color is. It is a true kind of like oatmeal. It's just so warm and it's got like that fuzzy appearance it's the perfect sweater like <laughs> I know my description is like so vague but this it's just an amazing sweater now what I absolutely love also again is the arms on this one you have a balloon sleeve so it's a little bit wider which is great however on the um wrist on the wrist of the sweater, they actually made it more tapered. And you can roll this, which is really nice because it gives you a little bit of flexibility as far as the length on the arm. Um, and I absolutely love it. This one is more, I would say, of a crop style because it comes a little bit shorter in the length. And again, it's not fitted on the, the bottom, which I think is great. It, it's finished, however, it's not fitted. So this is such a great sweater for 
more of a casual look. I think this particular sweater looks great paired with jeans. I love doing like a French tuck with this. Jeans, you just kind of like put it a little bit in your jeans and that gives a little bit more shape to it. This sweater I picked up in a size 18, 20. Okay, so now that brings us to our last sweater for this haul, which is this amazing. Okay, I know I said every sweater was amazing, but guys, I'm just like in sweater heaven right now. This, can you see, oh my gosh. Can you see this sweater, guys? Like, it is so beautiful. Okay, can I say this sweater reminds me of something that Whitley from, um, oh, what was the name of that show? Back in the day, guys, come on. Um, what was the name of the show? Whitley and Dwayne. Oh, I cannot, I'm, at, I'm totally having a brain fart. Okay, if you can remember the name of the show, which I'm sure I'll remember by the time this video goes up, drop it down in the comments right now and go like nostalgic with me. But I could totally see Whitley in this sweater, guys. Like, this is amazing. Oh my God, this sweater just looks expensive. I don't know, it's super beautiful. I love the fact that they did a roll neck on this. So the black is like rolled over and that same detail is carried through on the arms of the sweater. The black in this cream is just absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't even say this is cream, it's more like winter white. So the black and winter white pattern on this is just absolutely beautiful. It's finished down at the bottom. I'll come up so you guys can see the texture of that. So. I feel like this is a sweater you rarely see in plus. You would see this in a straight size like all the time in every store, but to see something with such detail in it and it's just this really thick, beautiful cable neck in plus is just amazing. Kudos to, to Eloquy for offering this option for us. So the pattern is on the front and then as you can see, it's blank on the back. You have the details down the arms and it has that black finishing on the ends. I absolutely love this sweater. Again, one of those pieces that I feel like will just be in my wardrobe forever and that it goes with pretty much anything. This is a size 1820 in this one. I will say this one in particular, I probably could have sized down to a 16, but they did not have it available in store. So um, yeah, this is on the thicker side as well. So if you're looking for a heavier sweater, this is definitely a, a good contender. So the black leggings that I paired with the last sweater that I showed you guys were these really cute leather cutout. Now these are the essential stretch pants from Eloquy, which are just great always. They have that really thick band on the side. Absolutely love these just as a normal everyday kind of like jegging pant. Um, and then these in particular have, I'm trying to see if you guys can see it, have the leather detail right at the thigh and the calf. So that's on the front only. These are really chic. So I paired these with the black sweater and I went to, I think it was going bowling or something. And it was just so cute. It was like such a great outfit. I find that these particular pants, I got them in a size 18. I definitely needed to size down in these. So a 16 would have fit so much better, especially with the leather cutouts because I find that it just doesn't fit as well around the calf and ankle as I would love for them to. So I think I'm actually gonna give these away, but um, <clears throat> and order another pair in a size 16. So what I would say is definitely, if you are like me and you're in between sizes, 16 in dresses, and an 18 in jeans. So if you're a 16, 18 like I am, I would definitely say order these in the 16. Don't size up. Next up is this honeycomb sweater dress. Now I actually saw this dress on Rochelle from Beauty Curve and was like, yes, I have to have it. Um, I went into the store and they actually had it in stock. I was like, yes, please, right now, thank you. So this sweater, guys, is so beautiful. Now it is a gorgeous kind of buttercream and you can see the difference paired next to my sweater which I think this sweater I would consider more of a winter white this I would say is more of a buttercream white um, it has the turtleneck feel to it I love that and I love that it's a loose cow neck kind of it's not gonna choke you or anything you guys know I hate turtlenecks so this is one of those really comfortable sweater dresses 
So I am 5'2", and this comes right at the mid calf, which I love that as well. So if you're a little bit on the taller side, you're still going to have some good length in this dress. The arms fit great. It has like the little fitting here at the bottom. Look at that. Can you guys see the detail in that pattern? It's absolutely beautiful. Forgive me if I'm looking down and I have a little monitor. But anyway, so you see that honeycomb pattern. I love again that they finished the arms. So it's really nice. It's just a beautifully made sweater. Now I will say because of the honeycomb pattern, it is a little bit on the sheer side. So depending on where you're going to wear this, you might want to layer like a camisole or slip underneath. Um, I definitely think if you are wearing stockings, you'll be perfectly fine because that's going to give you a little bit of coverage not to like show too much, um, depending on where you're going. Um, I decided to pair this with uh, my brown chocolate boots that I just got from Diva. I'll pop a picture in here so you guys can see. And a leopard print belt. I thought that would be a fun way to kind of play on the patterns. Um, absolutely love this dress. Pick this one up in a size 18, 20, and I definitely could have gone to a 14, 16. Again, did not have it in store. So, um, but this one was a great buy. I was, even though they didn't have it in 14, 16, I definitely was not going to walk out of the store without it, just in case it was sold out online. So, so typically I'm more of a dress person or skirts, love leggings, things like that. I don't necessarily wear like dress pants that often unless I'm going to a business meeting, then that's more of a look that I'll go for. Um, with that being said, I did not have a pair of camel pants in my closet and I thought that was odd, but, um, but when going through my check, when creating my checklist, I thought it was really important to grab a pair of camel pants. Something that was not black, was not blue, something that was more on the neutral side that would pair really well with pretty much anything. And I found these amazing wide leg camel pants, uh, again, at Eloquy. Now I grabbed this one in a size 16. Oh, look at that. And they were $89.95. Look at me with the prices. Hey, um, this is a paper waist bag. Uh, pants which is really really chic love that love the fact that it gives you the freedom to pair this with a bodysuit if you wanted to you could obviously wear this with a sweater it's gonna look great these are just the type of pants that you can pretty much rock with any top and it's just gonna look amazing on and this color is just so rich that's what drew me to them I love the fact that it also comes with a coordinating belt so that's really nice it's a nice touch so this is the part where I want to hear from you let me know down in the comments what was your favorite look from this haul and if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button become a part of my crew what are you waiting for as i mentioned in the introduction i have a special giveaway for you guys on this video as i mentioned in the beginning of the video i have a special giveaway for you guys so i am giving you the winter wardrobe checklist that i use to build the perfect winter wardrobe from nothing now there's a ton of items on this list. I want you guys to keep in mind, you don't have to buy everything. This is just going to be your groundwork where you can go in and check off what you already have in your closet. And then as you go shopping, it'll be that little reminder that you need on what you might want to buy. So if you guys really like this checklist, let me know and you can send me a DM on Instagram that's at Candy's Land on all platforms or you can send me an email or drop a comment down at the bottom of this video. Let me know if you thought the checklist was really helpful and to get this winter wardrobe checklist, all you have to do is subscribe to my weekly newsletter. Don't worry, there won't be any spam. It's just once a week giving you an update on all the great things that are happening in Candy's Land guys want that anyways so don't forget to check out the description box it will have the link to the checklist sign up for that newsletter and i will personally email you a copy bella wanted to come and say hi to you guys you guys may sometimes hear her especially on like the live videos this is my bella bella the frenchie she sounds like a little pig but i promise you she's a dog <laughs> all right bella so we're gonna tell the people you're gonna say bye you gonna say bye to, to everybody huh yeah and most importantly go live life out loud and then come back and tell your girl all about it i love you guys be blessed